This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. It's the sixth annual Oscar Prediction Show! From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Well, it's that time again, Oscar Predictions! Our system, as always, is we don't see the nominated films. Mm -hmm. We see who won the awards leading up to the Oscars. We say who has the most buzz, and now a new category... Are there any controversies? Right. Well, the whole Me Too thing, <laughs> mm -hmm. your your whole Oscar campaign can be derailed very quickly. Very quickly. Now, the Oscar rules pretty much are, if you died, you're in. Yes. Biopics rule. Mm -hmm. Portraying an illness works well. And multiple nominations without a win always helps. Yes. So we're going to list the previous Oscar record where applicable, and that's in terms of nominations and then wins. As well as odds as of the 23rd of February, based on an average from nicerodds.co.uk, which is actually a meta site of various other betting sites. Okay. <laughs> All right. Starting with supporting actor William Defoe, two nominations, zero wins, six to one odds. This is all for the Florida Project. Uh, he won the New York's Critics' Choice Award. Woody Harrelson, two nominations, zero wins, and 37.5 to 1 odds for three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Richard Jenkins, he got one nomination and zero wins. He's 19 to 1 odds for The Shape of Water. Did he play the monster? Or? Uh, I don't believe he did. Okay. And Christopher Plummer. He's gotten nominated twice and one win. 23.5 to 1 odds for all the money in the world. But just as an aside, that one is a real tricky one. Yes. Because he replaced someone at the last... I mean, they had to reshoot yes. the film. Yes. So I think that kind of gives him an in a little bit. I mean, you know, other actors have to recognize that this was difficult. Oh, absolutely. And then finally, Sam Rockwell... Zero nominations his first time, a 1.1 to 1 odds for three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. And he got the Golden Globe, he got Critics' Choice, and he got the SAG Award. And both of us are picking Sam Rockwell. You know, it, as an aside there, normally if there's two actors nominated from the same movie, right. they tend to split the vote a little bit. Yes. So I'm not quite sure if that's going to work, but he's just been overwhelmingly the favorite. So Right, and the fact that uh, Harrelson has such lower odds of winning. Yes. So I think that kind of negates the split potential split vote. Yes. So for supporting actress, the nominees are Mary J. Blige, who has zero nominations and zero wins, and she's nominated for Mudbound. I don't know that I've even heard much about this movie. Uh, 21 to 1 odds. Mm-hmm. Then we have Allison Janney, nominated for I, Tanya. Allison has zero nominations for Oscars and zero wins, but she's won lots of Emmys. Mm -hmm. And one uh, to one odds. And she's won the, the Golden Globe, the Critics' Choice, and the SAG Awards already. That's a pretty good run. Yep. Leslie Manville, again, no previous nominations, so no previous wins. 23.5 to one odds on Phantom Thread. Lori Metcalf, zero nominations and zero wins, 4.7 to 1 odds on Lady Bird. And, you know, since Allison took all the other awards, these haven't won any awards. Right. <laughs> Octavia Spencer has been nominated twice and won once. She's got 30 to 1 odds for The Shape of Water. And again, she didn't win any previous awards for this either. Mm -hmm. I think because Allison Janney is just such an overwhelming favorite that we all have to pick her to win. Right. Plus, it's a biopic. Yeah, there you go. Okay, animated movie. Boss Baby at 23 to 1 odds. <laughs> the Breadwinner, 14 to 1 odds. Never even heard of it. Coco, 1 to 1 odds. Golden Globe, Critics' Choice, Producers Guild, 
New York Critics Association all winning. Ferdinand at 42 to 1, and Loving Vincent at 18 to 1. We both picked Coco. I think that some of these are just too overwhelming yeah. to yeah. go against Absolutely. The, um, the common consensus. Yeah. So for um, original song, Mighty River from Mudbound has 16 to 1 odds. Mystery of Love from Call Me By Your Name. I, I'm always hard to say the name of that movie. <laughs> has 14 to 1 odds. Remember Me from Coco has uh, 1.5 to 1 odds. Uh, it won the Critics' Choice Award. Stand Up for Something has 23 to 1 odds. That's from the movie Marshall. And This Is Me has... 2.7 to 1 odds, and that's from The Greatest Showman, and it won the Golden Globe. So, what do you pick, Mark? I am picking This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. I think that's because it has this message of inclusion and the political correctness uh, the environment right now. I think that's why they're going to go with that. Yeah. Now, a lot of times, this always does go to an animated movie. Mm -hmm. Maybe because there's more actual songs in animated movies. The Greatest Showman is a musical, so right. it, it does right. tend to go there. But I picked Coco, the song from Coco. All so. right. Moving on to director. Christopher Nolan, three nominations and zero wins, 7.5 to 1 odds for Dunkirk. Jordan Peele. Zero nominations his first time out. 46 to 1 odds for Get Out. Greta Gerwig, also her first time out. 13 to 1 odds for Lady Bird. Paul Thomas Anderson, uh, nominated six times and never won. 84 to 1 odds for Phantom Thread. And Guillermo del Toro, he's been nominated once, no wins. 1.1 to 1 odds for The Shape of Water. So if we were looking at the whole nominated thing mm -hmm. and not winning yeah. rule, then it would be Paul Thomas Anderson. Yes. But he's not going to win. Right. And Del Toro won Golden Globe. He won the Critics' Choice. And he won the Directors Guild Awards. Uh, by the way, uh, Sean Baker for the Florida Project won the New York Crit Critics' Choice, but he wasn't even nominated for an Oscar. So what are you going for? Well, I'm going to I'm going to spit at common wisdom here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pick Greta Gerwig. Okay. Because there's been so much choice talk about women directors. Yeah. And I think maybe some of them will just vote for her because because she, she is a woman. Mm. I don't know. Well, I'm going with the the common uh, track here and saying Del Toro is going to win. So moving on to actor. Actor. Uh, Timothy Chalamet has zero noms and zero wins. 17.5 to 1 odds for his role in Call Me By Your Name. He won a New York's Critics Circle Award for that. Daniel Day-Lewis has been nominated five times and won three times, but he has 26 to 1 odds for his role in Phantom Thread. Daniel Kaluuya, first time nominated, 19 to 1 odds for Get Out. I'd really like to see him win that. Mm -hmm. I don't think he will. No. Gary Oldman has one nomination and zero wins. He has even odds to win for Darkest Hour. He won the Golden Globe, the Critics' Choice, and the SAG Award. And finally, we have Denzel Washington at uh, eight to one odds. No, that's eight, oh. eight win, eight nominations and one win. Win um, for his role in Roman J. Israel Esquire. His odds are 47 to 1. Yeah. So not a good outlook there. No. Um, we both picked Gary Oldman, staying with the standard yeah, pick Yeah, I think there. that's pretty much a lock. Mm-hmm. Best Actress. Sally Hawkins with one nomination and zero wins and 16 to 1 odds for The Shape of Water. Francis, Francis McDormand, four nominations, zero wins, 1.1 to 1 odds for three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. She has pretty much won most of the lot here. Golden Globe, the uh, Critic, uh, Critics' Choice, and the SAG Awards. Margot Robbie, her first time out, three, 33 to 1 odds for I, Tanya. Even though it's a biopic. Uh, Sarshay Ronan, uh, two nominations, zero wins, 10 to 1 odds for Lady Bird. And Meryl Streep, 20 nominations, three wins. She is 59 to 1 odds 
for the post. I kind of think Meryl gets nominated for whatever she's in now. You know, they pick a movie that she's in that year and nominate her, even right. though yes. she has no it's, chance of winning. She gets an automatic spot. Yeah. By the way, Sharshi uh, also won the Golden Globe, and she was able to do that because there are two different uh, uh, film awards right. in the comedy in, and drama. Exactly. And uh, she also won New York's Critics' Choice. However, we're both going with Francis, Francis McDormand. Yes. Then we have the big award, Best Picture. Yep. There's lots of nominees. Yes, there are. Call Me By Your Name has 84 to 1 odds of winning. Darkest Hour is even worse at 150 to 1. Dunkirk is 37 to 1. Get Out is 16 to 1. Lady Bird is 12 to 1. But it actually won uh, the Golden Globe. Um, again, that's a comedy drama situation, right. isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, the New York Critics Circle and the Central Ohio oh. Films Critics Association. <laughs> oh, okay. that, that coveted award. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Phantom Thread has odds of 141 to 1. The Post, 109 to 1. The Shape of Water is 2.4 to 1. And it won the uh, Critics Circle Award and the uh, Producers Pro Guild of America. Right. And then last nominee is Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri with 1.8 to 1 odds. It's the favorite. It won a Golden Globe, and it won the SAG Award. Uh, so, Mark, what did you pick? I'm going with Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, and I did that, A, because it's the, the best odds, and also because it also makes a political statement. And now they're big on you know, making political statements in mm -hmm. these movies. And I picked Lady Bird because, again, I'm thinking that the whole um, women's movement thing is going to kick in and give it for Greta and mm. that sort of thing. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, and maybe we'll eventually watch some of these movies. <laughs> 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 By the way, I really enjoyed Black Panther. <laughs> so you should go see a movie, and after that you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. And I'd like to thank... Wait, don't play me off! Dun, 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 dun.